Hello YouTube, I am back with another video. Also, you may notice that I'm back with my old phone that I used to use to record videos. The reason I am back is because I wanted to show you a few things that I got. I got some new toys to play with. First off that I want to show you is this phone right here. Yes, this is actually an old rotary phone that I am trying to free up. I have to move the wheel back by hand. Sometimes it tends to go back on its own, but uh, not quite. It, do it doesn't seem to... I haven't plugged it into the wall jack to try it yet, but... I am hoping that it works. If it don't, I'll just keep it as an attraction. Um, more like decoration. But anyway, um, you may notice that the fill tube to my Hoover U4101 is not in the vacuum. That's because, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, I got a new fill tube in it. Well, not new, but uh, another one instead of a slot to uh, slide the cardboard in I got one that you just poke it on there now that goes to the remarkable discovery and is the main attraction of this video I was at my friend's house and I was helping her move some old stuff into her greenhouse. She does keep a lot of things. I wouldn't call it hoarding. If anything, I would call my sister sister's room hoarding. Anyway, I went to her old barn, which is where I found this phone, and a Zephyr fan, which is still there because... I didn't have room in my car because I was holding these in it. Now, beware. They are not in good condition, but two Hoover convertibles. I stumbled upon a landfill behind her place. And it had the and there was these two Hoover convertibles. Now, before you say anything, I am going to repair these. It's going to be a pain in my ass because they're in such bad condition. This one, I think, is a U4339. Make sure. Not focusing, but it says U4339. This one is a U4-3000, no, U4-1003. And it's got the little slot that you shove the attachment thing in. Neither of these have bottom plates and neither of them have brush rolls or belts. This one has a metal base and a metal fan and it does have a lens that does not fit it's from a custom convertible, which <clears throat> I don't know. This one has a lens. It's right here because it fell out when I took the hood off. This one's got a square handle like my U4101. So that should say some that might say something about its age. This one has a round handle which is broken but I'm still going to get another handle and everything for these. They are badly rusted which is why I <clears throat> the handle here is badly rusted on this one um, so that should explain something about the pain it's gonna cause me to get it fixed. This one the handle isn't too bad but it's still not any good because you can see that it's broken and there's where it severs to pack it away. I pulled the bumper off because I'm trying to get the hood off of it. 
Um, what else? This one is a high performance two speed motor. Um, the sticker here is trying to come off. Um, this one does have the headlight assembly in it. Uh, get the hood off without breaking it. But I have it pulled off for, cer for so I could repair this. Both these motors are frozen, but I am going to attempt to get them unfrozen. This one is no better. Uh, the switch is rusted and you can tell it's done for. Neither of them had cords except for these little cords that go down the handles um, if I can't get these running I'm just gonna keep them as a attraction don't ask me why I keep saying attraction um, the underside is pretty corroded um, and all uh, so I don't know how long these were down there, but I'm pretty sure they were down there for a long time, just judging by their condition. And the bumper here seems to be like shrunk or something. I have no idea. But And hey, I repaired an Encore convertible that was ju in just as bad a condition as that one. This one isn't too bad, because apparently it wasn't exposed that long to the weather it was under a cash register an old wood heater and all that and this one was just out in the weather and that should explain what, how that should explain the fact that it was in the weather the handle release um, isn't really efficient because there's not that little rivet down there I haven't been able to get the hood off of it because one of the screws is shot and it's the this little screw right here I forgot to turn on my light I did get the light to work with the phone this screw right here is shot so I'm probably either gonna have to drill it out or um, find some way to get it off and the assemblies I'm going to need to repair these are the axle for the back wheels maybe some new height adjustments which are not going to be easy to come by this one doesn't fare any better in that area I'm gonna need new wheel assembly for it, new handle, new handle on this one, um, handle should come with a switch. I was thinking I could put my conquest handle on it whenever I want to use it, but I can already tell I'm not going to be able to get that handle off until I oil this or drill it out because that's holding it on. This one I don't need to drill out because I just need to find a way to stop this from making contact with the back one here. And you can bet that this one had a type C set up because um, just judging, just judging by what I've seen on most of the convertibles from this one's age they had type C this one had the type A system which is right there and it's all hardened up and fragile no zipper it does have the zipper teeth but it doesn't have the like um, uh, for example on this sanitaire um, it does not have this part on it so that that bag is no good but the fill tube was so that's why I salvaged that for my U4101 just so that 
the bag would not, the cardboard would not bow out when you t turn it on when it's a new bag. For, for one of those, this sanitary bag, the thing was missing in it, so I'm going to try and put uh, this on here and use it as an F and G system until I can get a bag assembly for them. It's not going to be easy. I got my work cut out for me. But I am going to attempt to repair these. I know Chris and a couple other users have told me that it just ain't worth it. Um, and that I should have just left them there from uh, one user's name I forget. So, hey, I fixed this select vac. I fixed an Encore convertible, which was identical to this one, but uh, I don't know if it had power surge with the switch. So, I'm not really sure on that. Until I can get the hood off of this one, I'm not even going to bother with it and for a while. Just until I can get the hood off of it. I'm going to do my best on that one just to get it running before I go into getting parts for it. I'm pretty sure Jared or um, I think his username is Duke Duckett something uh, but he might have some parts convertibles that I can maybe use if I can get a hold of him with the with the subject so, yeah, I got my work cut out for me, and I will try and get these running. When I do, they'll be in some videos, so stay tuned on that. Also, I guess I could run this. Also, uh, Mitchell Armstrong here on YouTube, this is going to be yours, but before I pack it up and get ready to ship it this handle I'm going to make sure that it's still good cause someone did t someone at my old school where I got the select vac and euro clean said that they had u been using uh, the electrical tape as a grip so I'm gonna make sure that this isn't just that. And I got a new cord from another machine that had no good parts. The dirt cup was missing. The bag half of it was all messed up. And the hood was missing. The brush roll was seized. Um, but I got a new cord for it and I would have salvaged the base but the front wheels were missing the the back wheels were shot one of them was in I've noticed a lot of these the back wheel is on backwards and normally goes out first so yeah it does need a new brush roll because this is the old brush roll the ends are missing this one wasn't there and this one the end cap was missing but it still has the bearing housing the bearing was gone and all also my 684 that I rented out to someone because my royal needed a bag That is what's wrong with this end cap. Neither of these end caps are good. So, yeah. I was really pissed at that guy. He ripped the sticker off saying property of Jeffrey. 
and he is not my brother's friend anymore. Yep, Wayosa said he confronted him and said that if he ever comes to my place again asking for a vacuum, that he would be getting it. He would be getting into some deep shit. Also, um, um, this bag, this bag casing, one of the clamps is busted, but the other keeps it on pretty good. I just wanted to say that. Also, a brush roll from a regular Elite should work in this. It will work in it, because I used my Hoover Preferred brush roll in this to test it out on my back porch. So, that's it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm not going to run my convertible because I don't have enough film. Yep, I talk too much. Bye.